Jackson. Cat it on high, my paint never dry. Forge it out on the rim and the ties. Make it where niggas will never get by. Flipping the script on the hoe. Shine up the grill and leave the glow. Pay for the dip and never show. Cut the fucking lot with super soul. Players out here on game. Dip, dip it so cold on the hoes of the two below that we can put out the flame. Of the blue hand of the roof of the coupe. All I got a fan, man, who got change? Who got the normal to the nearest bird to down and club the church for the glitch? Hit the pole and do a split. Can we borrow wine? We ain't talking about flights. Talking in the club, I'm rocking with the ice. Spent more on jail, I'm mistaken. The strip, then more gon' make it ain't life. Ain't tripped up, never hit up from the drink. Pick up where I left off on the dang. Next I never stressed out of chain. Dressed out, get spread down with the crank. You hear that duck? I make it with these motherfuckers feel that duck. When the rim too big and the road ain't shit. And make it hard to stay that devil, but it's big bang, big bang, big bang. And the monster among men set to go one on one with the charismatic enigma here on Monday Night Raw. Show of respect between these two is kind of surprising from the behalf of Braun Strowman, showing a new side of his character here on Monday Night Raw. Extending a handshake to Jeff Hardy, showing his respect for a former WWE and World Heavyweight Champion. Now fighting into the corner is Jeff Hardy with a strike, now diving out with a clothesline, able to take down. Braun Strowman in the early stages of this match now dropping the elbow ac across Braun Strowman. We have seen Strowman significantly slowed down in the later months, taking losses to Jeff Cobb, Donovan Dijak, and alike. Now a basement dropkick from Jeff Hardy is going to keep the monster grounded. And Braun Strowman now going to be fought back into the corner, catching Jeff Hardy and now crunching him with a huge headbutt. As now he lifts up Hardy into the seated position. Now gonna lift him up once again. And a clubbing forearm strike. And now crunching knee. Crushing the head of Jeff Hardy into the knee as he stepped down. Now gonna drop the knee of Jeff Hardy onto the canvas. And now gonna look to turn him over. Deadlift, gut wrench, suplex. Gonna send Jeff Hardy flying. And the strength advantage of Braun Strowman might just be too much for Jeff Hardy here. Now double leg takedown for Jeff Hardy. Able to fight out of that for the time being. Braun Strowman still down. Now slingshotting in with a leg drop. It's going to keep Braun Strowman down for a second. And Jeff Hardy now able to regroup and plan out an attack here. Going to send Braun Strowman off the ropes, ducking underneath. Now diving with a huge leaving clothesline, but not knocking Braun Strowman down. As he's only staggered now, Strowman sending him off the ropes and catching him with a big boot on his way in. The monster among men now. And look to lift up 
Jeff Hardy and send him crashing across the ring with a huge slam. And Jeff Hardy looking to recover quick. Reaching over to the ropes, but unsuccessful to do so now. Looking for the cover here is Braun Strowman. Getting a two count off of that body slam. And Jeff Hardy already sustaining a lot of damage. And the knuckle sandwich now. Compressing the knuckles. Braun Strowman on each side of the head of Jeff Hardy. That Oklahoma slam. What Braun Strowman likes to utilize as his finisher. Of course, there's just, just the straight up power slam but releasing Jeff Hardy across the ring looking for the cover and getting the two count after it as Jeff Hardy now looking to fight back in this contest somehow getting back into it now sending Braun Strowman across into the corner catching him with a whisper in the wind out of the corner the core screw catching the leg across the head of Braun Strowman and Jeff Hardy now taunting in the middle of the ring as Braun Strowman looking to recover on the canvas now sending Jeff Hardy over with a reversal fireman to carry a clubbing strike again to Jeff Hardy and sending him into the corner. He's going to turn around Jeff Hardy now. And look for that heel toss straight out of the corner. From corner to corner sending Jeff Jeff Hardy crushing down with a huge heel. But now Jeff Hardy coming back with a huge right hand. Sending Braun Strowman crashing into the ropes. Now Jeff Hardy with a kick to the gut. Got to snap Mayor Braun Strowman down. And an elbow to the top of the head. He's going to keep the big man down for the time being. Jeff Hardy now going to look to go high risk up to the top rope. As Braun Strowman is still down here. Going to look to go for the Swanton Bomb but taking too long. As Braun Strowman now getting back up to his feet. Now diving down with a huge axe handle. Jeff Hardy able to take down Braun Strowman in the process. Now lifting him back up. Jeff Hardy being reversed on that opportunity from Braun Strowman. Lifted back up now from Strowman. It's going to be sent to the outside, crashing all the way off the apron down to the outside. Braun Strowman are going to follow Jeff Hardy to the outside now. And look to send him potentially back in. And taking control of Hardy, bringing him over to the barricade. Instead bringing him back over to the, to the ringside area, but Jeff Hardy fighting out of it. Going to look to get back, this action back inside the ring as the ref continuing to count away. Jeff Hardy now going to lead Braun Strowman over to the ring post, crashing Braun Strowman into the ring post. And Jeff Hardy now reversing the waist lock opportunity behind is Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman sending Jeff Hardy, crashing into the ring post as the referees count. Getting pretty high now, sending Braun Strowman, sending Jeff Hardy back to the inside. Let's go look now to scout him for the power slam. Looking to put him away with the second power slam here in this contest. Going for the Oklahoma slam on Jeff Hardy and looking to get the cover here on Jeff Hardy and the Monster Among Men looking for the victory
Introducing first in the corner to my right, he is the challenger. Weighing in at tonight at 262 pounds, he fights out of Ireland, the Celtic Warrior, Seamus. And in the corner to my left, he weighs in at tonight at 203 pounds. He is the WWE United Kingdom and WWE Cruiserweight Champion, the Aerial Assassin, Will Ospreay. And the champion sets to defend his championship belt here tonight, typically Defending that United Kingdom Championship in NXT, winning it from Marty Scurll at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, and having defended it multiple times since then, now brings it up to Monday Night Raw at Clash of the Champions, where all the titles are on the line. And now Sheamus preparing to challenge for that championship. Will Ospreay looking to defend. Is this, uh, this contest going to get started here? The reversal from Ospreay. And you got to think that Sheamus... Receiving this opportunity due to his victory over James Storm the other week. Now looking for the power slam. Dropping him down with an inverted suplex is Osprey. And now kicking him in the head with an insiguri from the ground of position. This is a good chance for Osprey to showcase what the United Kingdom division is all about. And now diving from the second rope. Backflip into the Tornado DDT. Onto Sheamus. Able to take the Celtic Warrior down. As now Osprey going to go for that standing moonsault. And the GM of Monday Night Raw, Shane McMahon, typically not rewarding the behavior of Sheamus to pick up the scraps of James Storm the other week as we saw. Now Osprey looking for that phenomenal forearm onto the inside. And of course the WWE Champion of Raw now springing off of the ropes with a huge lion salt from the top rope. Looking for the cover on Sheamus but getting the one count as the Celtic Warrior getting his shoulder up. Now looking for the grounded drop kick, but Sheamus able to evade that attack. Osprey now with the reversal of the jawbreaker, taking him down. Going to look for the backpack driver onto the, the backslide driver. Dropping Sheamus right on his neck as Osprey now going to look to go high risk up to the top rope. Scouting Sheamus now. Going to look to go for the Dragon Rana going full rotation over but taking Sheamus down. Not able to connect. Sheamus likely catching him in that powerbomb position if he was to do so. Now the European uppercut. But Sheamus now going to send... Osprey off the ropes with a huge lariat, catching him on the way in. Sheamus questioning if the crowd is not entertained. Now clotheslining Osprey all the way to the outside. And what, what it would do for Sheamus to win the United Kingdom Championship here tonight after Osprey won that championship at SummerSlam weekend off of Marty Skrull. Now the huge springboard frog splash in. You would think that Sheamus would have to defend the Raw champ the United Kingdom Championship, excuse me, on Raw. He wouldn't have to move down to NXT. Now a huge seated suplex from Sheamus. Deadlifting Osprey into position and now just going to crank away at the aerial assassin's neck. We know the history of neck issues that Will Osprey has had. Sheamus looking to exploit that now. There's now a huge knee drop to the face of Osprey. Osprey also additionally holding. The Cruiserweight Championship, of course, Sheamus, not in the Cruiserweight division, not able to contend for that championship. Therefore, it's not on the line here tonight as Osprey rams Sheamus into the barricade. Osprey now sending Sheamus back to the inside as he is going to scout Sheamus back up to his feet here. Sheamus catching with the boot in, now a clubbing forearm strike, able to take the aerial assassin down and dropping the knee into the canvas of Will Osprey. Osprey now going to be lifted up by Sheamus. Countering back is Osprey. Sheamus sending him to the outside, holding on to the apron as Sheamus turning him around now for the beats of the Bodrin. Looking for those clubbing strikes across the chest. Just lighting up the chest of Will Osprey as he was hung up on that rope. Sheamus doing the damage to the champion now, making up for all that early. Offense that Will Ospreay was able to commit to Sheamus is now Ospreay looking to get back into this contest, looking to not show the effects. Now looking for a suplex into the stunner by Will Ospreay. 
the stunned on millionaire of Will Ospreay. Dropping Sheamus over in that corner. Now going for the corkscrew shooting star press. Almost a red arrow of sorts as Will Ospreay now getting a two count off of that pin opportunity on Sheamus. Somehow able to get the shoulder up here. At Clash of the Champions. This match of course going on before all the rest of them going to be pre-taped for Monday Night Raw. That's why you're seeing it now. Will Ospreay able to send Sheamus back to the inside. Rebounding off the ropes. Going for that core screw crossbody. Now hooking the leg of Sheamus. Looking for the cover here but the two count of Sheamus. Able to get the shoulder up. And Celtic Warrior still keeping his desires to hold that United Kingdom Championship with pride alive here. Come on, strike to the face of Osprey. And now Sheamus getting back to the inside. He's going to be countered by Osprey. Turning him around. Osprey sending him into the corner now. Osprey getting the wrist lock control. A chop across the chest of Sheamus. Now going to look to rebound in a drop kick from the springboard. Off that wrist lock into the corner. Aerial Assassin now scouting something. Going for a tilt a whirl head scissors. Hurricane Rana to Sheamus. Sending him back down. And that Will Ospreay able to sustain very little damage in this contest. Now going for the fireman's carry cutter. The TKO. On to Sheamus. Going up to the top rope. Going for the 0-5-4. But he comes up short as Sheamus able to evade that. Now a stomp on to Osprey and looking for the quick cover. As Osprey crashed and burned off that top rope. But able to get the shoulder up with a count of one. But Sheamus going to drop him back down. Head banging off the canvas. As Osprey is dished back out. Splattered across the canvas. Now catching a knee in to Sheamus. Able to counter him. Now looking for that stun dog millionaire once again. Able to lift up Sheamus surprisingly and get him over for that stunner. Now sending Sheamus over into the corner. As Will Ospreay looking to turn him around. He's going to lift him up for the cheeky Nando's kick now as he packages him up and now catches him with a cheeky Nando's kick over in the corner. To Sheamus going high risk now up to the top rope. The 0-5-4 imploding 450 onto Sheamus. As now Will Ospreay looking to follow up the combination but it's countered by Sheamus. As Ospreay is looking to conclude it with a maneuver there. Osprey now being lifted up in the fireman's carry as Sheamus brings him over to the ropes. He's going to guillotine him across that top rope. And Sheamus now taking advantage of the aerial assassin here. As Sheamus looking to go high risk for that diving knee from the top rope. We don't see Sheamus typically go high risk but looking to do whatever it takes to win the United Kingdom Championship here tonight. Countering the style of the aerial assassin now grounding him. Perhaps a better approach, but now getting the jawbreaker from Will Osprey. Able to fight out of that. Osprey now sending him back into the corner. And lifting up. Sheamus up to the top rope. And Osprey gonna get him in position for an avalanche here. As Osprey's gonna follow him up now. And gonna go look for that avalanche Spanish fly from the top rope. The Spanish fly crashing down all the way from the top. As Osprey now gonna trap the referee over in the corner. Scouting Sheamus already getting back up to his feet, but he's groggy and he's going to be caught with the huge Essex Destroyer. Front flip DDT from Will Ospreay, the Essex Destroyer on Sheamus. Looking to represent for his United Kingdom Championship and now going to rebound him off the ropes. Going to look for the Oz Qatar on Sheamus and going to retain his United Kingdom Championship off of that combination. Looking for the cover now from the referee, but Sheamus... Getting the shoulder up at the count of two. Osprey can't believe it. Sheamus. I thought he was put away following that combination of finishers from Osprey, the Essex Destroyer, followed by the Oz Cutter. But that not being enough to put away the Celtic Warrior wanting to win that championship. Now connecting with the Irish Curse. Backbreaker now a second Irish Curse holding on. And now the trifecta of Irish Curse Backbreakers driving Will Osprey across the knee of Sheamus in the process and now going to drag Will Ospreay over into the middle of the ring as Sheamus now looking to take advantage of the aerial assassin looking to ground him and take out that leg with a huge stretch muffler but he's got him elevated as Will Ospreay now being cranked away at that leg going to have to get out of this hold quickly as Sheamus doing a lot of damage now sitting up 
Will Ospreay is able to fight out now with a combination of punches to the head of Sheamus. Now running at him, diving for that Hurricane Rana, but coming up short against the Celtic Warrior. The reversal now behind. Going to duck behind and catch him with a neck breaker. As Will Ospreay now going to lift up Sheamus. But it's countered by Sheamus with a huge fireman's carry. As these two are back and forth. Sheamus now. Going to look to lift up Will Ospreay. But it's countered with a huge arm drag. Back and forth between these two. Want both two wanting the United Kingdom Championship. Now Hurricane Rana driver from Will Ospreay. Drilling Sheamus into the canvas is now Osprey going for that core screw shooting star once again off the top rope. Making a statement here at Clash of the Champions. Looking to go, go and assault Sheamus with a huge Oz cutter off of the ropes. Hitting him with the huge springboard cutter. Busting open Sheamus in the process and now going to follow it up with the Essex Destroyer front flip DDT. As Osprey now hooking the leg of Sheamus. Going to look for the cover here on the Celtic Warrior. To follow it up off the Ozcutter. Kick out from Sheamus at the count of two. Again able to get the shoulder up. The resiliency of Sheamus somehow kicking out. And Osprey frustrated off of Sheamus' ability to kick out. Is now going to lift him up for the huge Storm Ruler. Crushing him down the Yokosuko Cutter. Dropping him with a huge Storm Breaker. Will Ospreay going to have to connect with that Oz Cutter once again off of the ropes. The Essex Destroyer not enough to put him away. A huge combination from Ospreay. As now Sheamus hung up on the ropes is going to reverse Will Ospreay with an arm drag out. Ospreay fighting back. He's now going to look to capitalize on Sheamus with the reversal. And spinning around with that spinning back kick. Going to rebound off the ropes once, twice. He's coming back with a huge basement single leg drop kick from Will Ospreay as Sheamus now prone in the middle of the ring in the aerial assassin doing his pose signifying that this is the end for Sheamus looking for the Oz cutter that's typically what he scouts him for but Sheamus fighting back now with the combination of strikes is countered by Will Ospreay now that kick being countered as Ospreay now ducking to the outside of the ring and Sheamus questioning the entertainment of the crowd as Ospreay now going to grab Sheamus from the inside into a huge tornado DDT slinging shot into the inside and looking to retain his championship as now Sheamus in a bad way is going to be sent over into the corner Will Ospreay quickly following it up with a cheeky Nando's kick package super kick over in the corner from Will Ospreay and Sheamus in a dangerous position here as Ospreay now going to send him rebounding off of the ropes ducking underneath and catching a huge lariat from Sheamus to follow it up as Sheamus now going to be countered from Will Ospreay off that arm drag. Ospreay now going to wait. The rival of Sheamus now catching him with an Oz cutter off of the ropes. The slingshot. Springboard cutter. Looking for the cover now on Sheamus. Looking for the pin. But Sheamus getting the shoulder up again off of the Oz cutter. The resiliency of Sheamus still looking to, to challenge for the United Kingdom Championship despite all the finishers that he's been hit with in this contest. As Osprey now leaning him against the ropes is going to go for the Oz Cutter once again. The lethal injection variation of the Oz Cutter slingshotting off and rebounding with a springboard handspring now catching him. And Will Osprey retaining the United Kingdom Championship in strong fashion here against Sheamus. A clash of the champions. Of course, all the titles being put on the line of typically the United Kingdom Championship being defended in NXT but given the opportunity to be showcased here on main roster show for Monday Night Raw and what a contest it was Sheamus putting up quite the fight a lot of kickouts here from in this contest from Sheamus but not able to get the job done against the aerial assassin the United Kingdom and the cruiserweight champion down in NXT William Osprey. Thank you for joining us for our Clash of the Champions match. We move on to Monday Night Raw. Once again for the main event now, following it up.
Fresh at the booth, I go straight to the stage. Then I go straight to get paid. Hundred I earn, fifty I save. My bitch don't be cleaning up, I need a maid. She don't be cooking, so I need a chef. Ain't giving me nothing, I get it myself. I'm doing my thing and I did it a deal. Stacking them chill, getting that dough. Me and his need me a couple hundo. Big mansion with a double front door. Pretty young thing in a new condo. Pretty God, I can stay rich and stay humble. Damn. I got big life chasing on a motherfucker. Ain't she trying? Cause I'm still getting still. One night removed from Seth Rollins' number one contender opening contest to Clash of the Champions. As now we see a show of respect between the two men. Seth Rollins, of course, the number one contender for AJ Styles' championship heading into Halloween Havoc. And we see the return of Donovan Dijak. We haven't seen much of Donovan Dijak since the team of the Monstars held the Raw Tag Team Championships in addition to the NXT Tag Team Championships. A dominant force in the tag division for sure. But Keith Lee heading over to SmackDown Live as we saw challenging Aleister Black for the championship recently back at Unforgiven in quite a contest but Donovan Dijak now looking to make a statement on Monday Night Raw and you gotta think that if he could pick up a big victory over Seth Rollins here tonight who catches him with a soul kick now he's gonna look to lift him up but constant reversals in this contest between the two but now a sit out huge sit out spinebuster chokeslam from Donovan Dijak now catching that spinning back kick from Seth Rollins Spinning heel, I should say. Looking to keep Donovan Dijak down, but the architect now being sent over into the corner as Dijak being countered out with a back elbow. And Seth Rollins looking for the flatliner, dropping Donovan Dijak, guillotining him over those ropes. And Seth Rollins now, the architect, 
having a plan in place as Dijak looking to get back up to his feet catches him with a huge super kick to the back of the head of Seth Rollins the brutality from Donovan Dijak lifting him up for the Alpha Man water slide dropping Seth Rollins and as I said one night removed from his number one contender contest defeating Kenny Omega and Shinsuke Nakamura in the same contest now looking for the SKO on Donovan Dijak drilling him into the canvas now the kick out at the not even the count of one from Donovan Dijak showing how much he means business here tonight and Donovan Dijak needing some singles victories following his tag team dominance with Keith Lee he hasn't really done much here on Monday Night Raw he was he was unfortunate and not moving over to Smackdown Live with his partner and having to make a statement on Monday Night Raw the last time we really saw Donovan Dijak he was in a triple threat match with AJ Styles now it now Seth Rollins looking for that diving frog splash on the inside and now the Irish curse choke slam backbreaker from Donovan Dijak the brutality of Dijak now looking to go up to the top rope as he looks for the corkscrew moonsault splash on the Seth Rollins oh my god the size of Dijak to be doing moves like that that's the late two count but Seth Rollins getting the shoulder up somehow at the count of two continuing this matchup despite his triple threat contest last night and Seth Rollins so resilient kicking out of that maneuver Donovan Dijak though pulling out every move in his arsenal like I said, the last time we saw him using a triple threat with, with Christopher Daniels and AJ Styles for the WWE World Championship back at Money in the Bank is now Seth Rollins scouting him for the Avada Kedavra from the corner. And he connects with a huge super kick coming out of the corner, as I said, scouting him now, looking up for Donovan Dijak as he looks to lift him up. Now for a Falcon Arrow doing the deal! Dropping him with a huge falcon arrow, planting him in the middle of the ring. As Dijak now being dropped by the number one contender, Rollins. It's got to be said that Seth Rollins is one of the biggest contenders to AJ Styles' title reign so far after beating Kenny Omega and Shinsuke Nakamura. And of course, his trio of matches with Pete Dunne. Now, Snapmare from Donovan Dijak as he looks to get him in the bow and arrow stretch, stretching out the architect's back. Not gonna ground him for the time being. Prevent any five star frog splashes from Seth Rollins. Not looking for that roaring forearm, but it's called by Dijak now into the fireman's carry. Gonna guillotine Seth Rollins over the top rope once again. Dropping Rollins. He's now down to Dijak gonna scout Seth Rollins from over in the corner, sitting over in the corner, going for that discus big boot, but Seth Rollins able to sidestep it. He's able to get out of the way and now go for that huge water wheel. Back suplex into the huge face buster. And that shot is busted open. Donovan Dijak, I believe that Avada Kedavra from the corner, the super kick, softened him up earlier. That ju that last shot just did it. Planning with that huge back suplex face buster. As now Rollins looking to follow Donovan Dijak up to the top rope here. Dropping him with a huge superplex all the way from the top, rolling through now into a Falcon Arrow, the second Falcon Arrow on Dijak in recent memory now. Looking for the cover on Dijak but getting the shoulder up at the count of two. Surprisingly following that huge combination that Seth Rollins was just able to pull off on Donovan Dijak. Now running off of the ropes, catching a huge clothesline after he ducked underneath by Donovan Dijak. And looking for the cover here on the Architect but he gets the shoulder up at the count of one. Seth Rollins now being lifted up by Donovan Dijak. An exchange between the two, but nothing happens from it. Seth Rollins now fighting Dijak back against the ropes. He's going to use it to his advantage, sending Dijak all the way to the outside. As he stripped that table when Seth Rollins was outside earlier. He's got to watch out for those TV monitors. But Seth Rollins now getting a running start off of the ropes. Going for the tope suicida through the middle ropes. As Seth Rollins diving to the outside onto Donovan Dijak. And in a dangerous territory as you can see. The table being stripped away here at our ringside area. We saw enough tables break last night. About three or four tables breaking over the course of our pay-per-view event. Four Clash of the Champions. As we saw in our last contest promoting the United Kingdom Classic that is this weekend. Or the, this upcoming weekend I should say next, next Friday I believe. We will have the United Kingdom Classic. 
featuring NXT superstars. I believe Rincon Bob Raw may indeed be there in action. As now Seth Rollins fighting off Donovan Dijak. He's going to send him against the table, but it's countered by Dijak himself. As the ref continuing to count away, I believe he's at a count of seven. Seth Rollins is going to be the one, though, to send Dijak back to the inside. He's got to follow him in now. Rollins looking for the belly to belly, but shifting his weight is Dijak able to get the reversal as Dijak now running around the ring deciding what he wants to do Rollins now going to nip up and toss him all the way from the top dropping Dijak he's now going to lift him up into position rebounding off the ropes catching him with a huge clothesline another one to take him down and a huge back spinning back heel kick calf kick I should say is now Rollins going to scout Dijak from the corner for the Ivana Kadabra again but missing off of that Super kick opportunity. Now the flatliner off to Donovan Dijak. Once again, the first time he did that, he dropped Donovan Dijak. Guillotine him across the middle and bottom rope on the right side of the ring. Now we're going to drop the heel of Donovan Dijak into the canvas. And now go for a standing moonsault to follow it up. Seth Rollins now. The number one contender going to try and conserve his energy. Following his match last night, he doesn't want to go too extreme. I want to preserve himself as now he goes to the top rope, diving for that frog splash, but Donovan Dijak able to scout it and evade the attack, moving out of the way now, going for that huge choke slam backbreaker onto Seth Rollins. The brutality that we are witnessing from Donovan Dijak, surely a sight as now he, he deadlifts Seth Rollins up into position, but it's countered by Rollins now with a suplex of his own onto Dijak, able to get him up. And suplex Dijak over. Numerous Falcon Arrows in this match as Seth Rollins committed to putting down every challenger in his way on his way to the championship as he looks to take that crown from AJ Styles as now he ducks behind and drops Donovan Dijak with a huge neck breaker. Gonna look to get Dijak back up to his feet here. Doing so successfully. Now we're going for the King Slayer ripcord knee strike to the face of Donovan Dijak and Seth Rollins proud of his work is going to now go across the ring onto the apron scout Dijak to get back up to his feet jumping into the inside spring off the ropes jump going for that leaping knee but not catching it Dijak able to sidestep it now sending Dijak to the outside is Seth Rollins and Dijak now in the ringside area at the mercy of Seth Rollins as Rollins now going to walk with Dijak Gonna bring him over by our announce table over here at ringside. Sending Dijak crashing into the announce table. And now lifting him up in the power slam, dropping him on our table. As Seth Rollins, what does he have in mind here? He's going back to the inside of the ring. He's climbing up to the top rope. He's gonna go for a diving elbow on the way through the announce table. Seth Rollins risking his own body. The night after that insane triple threat match last night. Diving through the announce table once again. Last night we saw him put, I believe he put Kenny Omega through the announce table with a falcon arrow. Now following it up tonight with an elbow drop to a returning Donovan Dijak through the announce table. And Dijak having a tough time recovering on the outside as the referee continuing to count. Seth Rollins, however, just taunting for the crowd. As following that elbow drop, he is proud of his work. And now dive to the inside, catching him with that springboard knee. To Donovan Dijak and now Seth Rollins looking to go a high risk up to the top rope. Going for that diving frog splash onto Donovan Dijak. Looking to hook the leg now for the cover on Dijak but getting the shoulder up is Donovan Dijak. Looking to have Seth Rollins feast his eyes on the feet here. Now going for the SKO but it's slipped out by Dijak. Able to catch him with a huge lariat to reverse it. Now scouting. Seth Rollins to get back up to his feet here is Dijak looking for the feaster eyes but it's countered by Seth Rollins now catching up with a, a rewind Rana I was gonna say the poised Rana variation Seth Rollins now going up high risk up to the top rope turning around now for an elbow drop following that rewind Rana unbelievable from Seth Rollins catching up with a huge Phoenix splash onto Donovan Dijak hooking the leg now for the cover but Seth Rollins only getting a two count as Donovan Dijak getting the shoulder up once again, even following the Phoenix Splash all the way from the top. That would put away most competitors. I believe he used that on Kenny Omega last night, if I'm not mistaken. 
Now looking for the choke slam again. Donovan Donjak being dropped with a huge DDT reversal. As now Seth Rollins gonna scout Dijak over from the corner. The Avada Kedavra onto Donovan Dijak, taking him down with a huge kick. And now Seth Rollins lifting him up. He'll look to send Donovan Dijak over into the corner. And gonna go for the reverse STO. Buckle smash dropping. Donovan Dijak face first into that second buckle. Now sending him across the ring. Seth Rollins now fired up, banging off his chest, catching a, a boot over in the corner by Donovan Dijak, reversing the waist lock control, however. A series of elbows. Seth Rollins now turning around. Donovan Dijak bloodied in the corner. Pumped up as Seth Rollins looking for that maneuver once again, but Donovan Dijak, the same series, following it up. Sending Dijak into the corner once again is Seth Rollins turning him around and now finally going to pull off the combination as he's flailing. Seth Rollins now the number one contender going to prove exactly why he's in that position as he lifts up Donovan Dijak powering up for a huge buckle bomb onto Donovan Dijak in perfect position for the curb stop onto Dijak. He's just got to hook the leg now. Go for the cover. Seth Rollins now hooking the leg of Donovan Dijak and picking up a huge victory. Heading into his championship match coming up against AJ Styles in the near future. Donovan Dijak of course hitting that corkscrew moonsault from the top and an impressive performance off that Tope Suicida putting the King Slayer knee to the knee to the face of Donovan Dijak and as we see here the diving elbow through the announce table but eventually it was the buckle bomb in the corner followed by the curb stop to put away Donovan Dijak returning here tonight on Monday Night Raw and an impressive victory for the number one contender Seth Rollins as he continues to pick up some steam heading into his championship match with AJ Styles we'll see how all that pans out in the coming weeks but that was your main event for Monday Night Raw thank you for tuning in we'll catch you the truth and that smackdown coming up soon.